Hey guys, this is Trey Sorry, and I'm going to be showing off to you this class idea that I had. The name is Jedi due to the fact it jumps high and it actually all its blows go through. So here's checked, and we're going to be doing that. Um, so he's heavy, and I'm going to actually have to stick, aren't I? And I failed. Um. It does about two and a half hearts to a heavy, so. And check struck. Alright. Um. And this time I don't lose, so. You can kind of see how much it does. So you can see it's kind of. Okay, that was kind of a bad representation. <laughs> um, but the way it's been working out, this is a counter to heavy since you see the true damage it does. And I didn't use any stakes, so. And all right. So yeah. <laughs> Jack's round to go. Of damage, so it's going to. And yeah, Jack is drunk. Soldier. So let's try it with Soldier. Ah, uh, it's just going to do the same amount of damage. But this time, I'm a sword speaker, I have a mistake. Yeah, you see, you have more stakes. So with soldier, you have more of a chance than with heavy, which is probably unique among all classes. Um, this obviously is not a great representation of the classes. And he's gonna come in and murder me now. So I'm gonna go Jedi and just kind of show you the mobility. Um, it has feather falling too because of this jump boost three has. The speed cancels out for a bit. You can see it jumps up to here. About. So that's great for recovery. He's now, I don't even know what he is. He's drunk. Again. Um. So you can j get to high places and recover. Ish. It will probably. Hi there, check. Uh, it'll probably be a pretty good anti tank kit. We've been working through, um several weapons, we just decided that wood was the easiest, or the best, because stone was doing a lot of damage. Wood seems to be doing pretty well. So, Jack's gonna get not that mean. Um, basic is pretty simple, pretty recognizable. Hi there. Do I have to kill you now, Jack? Probably not. Um, what else? As I, you saw, Soldier had a better chance against it than Heavy, which kind of shows the anti... Oh, and the speed and jump will give it a huge advantage against Dwarf, I believe. Unless you're in a close, then that's not going to help. But it's a pretty good anti-tank. It is free because, unlike most classes, look at that inventory. Bad. Jack, do I have to kill you? I don't know. Hi there. Oh, I got him! I got him! <laughs> I got him! Ha! <laughs> Talk about blind hitting. Um. And... 
Uh, yeah, so what it's good for, I guess you can cap with this, since technically all classes have to cap, since you do have the speed and you do have the jump boost. You can kind of get through a defense with this thing, although I wouldn't advise it. Unless you had a teammate, then a teammate would help. Defense is pretty good, since you're only going to be fighting about one at a time. Uh, recovering, though, is what it's mostly built for. Attack is stalking. Oh, he's in strike mode. I'm not, I'm not gonna fight him. I'm gonna run. Yeah. So it can technically cap. It can mainly recover. It can take it if there's a heavy rush. Do I use one of these on one of my maps? <laughs> Hacks. <laughs> um. We. But, um, I'm saying that a lot. I think that's it. Not much to talk about with this class. Pretty simple. Free. For the most part, it seems balanced. What we also have determined... Uh, yeah, so unlike most classes where the best armor and sword most damage output versus most armor and stuff wins... This one, the damage output really is limited because you're doing two and a half hearts almost every time. Except for crits and stuff. Oh, I wouldn't want to crit with this thing. That's nice. Anyway. Um, it has weaker armor. Only four things. He's soldier. Um, so that's parts ignored. So it's usually, technically, which classes have the most stake is the class that'll do the best with this. Against this. So that means Medic would have a pretty good chance against it, except for the fact that it has a weak sword. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for watching. Wale. Voilà.